Outside the French Embassy in Washington, the memorial for those killed on Friday grows larger by the day. But the amount of questions are also growing about what the attack could mean for the fight against ISIS and any Syrians hoping to resettle here in the United States. I can't imagine. I can't imagine what happened. Friday's attacks in Paris may be far from U.S. soil, but it's obvious outside the French embassy, the violence hits close to home for many. I'm just here, you know, in memories of people, that's all. And I wanted to show this to my daughter. Audrey Lafauve dropped by like dozens of others to bring flowers, signs, and even bottles of French wine in honor of those killed. It's difficult. It's difficult. While France and nations around the globe mourn those killed, the question remains, what's next for the fight against the terror group ISIS? I don't think we're necessarily seeing a change in strategy. What we may be seeing and are likely seeing is a change in capabilities. David Gartenstein Ross is a senior fellow at the Foundation for the Defense of Democracies. He says after Friday's coordinated deadly attacks in Paris, now more than ever, nations are reviewing their assessments on the group's capabilities. That changes the dial in terms of how we assess these groups. And with thousands of Syrian refugees fleeing to Europe, some U.S. leaders are fearful bringing any Syrian refugees to the United States could create chaos. Given the small numbers we're taking in, that's not a very effective way to land a, a, an operative in the United States. It really is amazing when you see it, just the large scope of people that have come by to pay their respects. We are seeing increased security here at the embassy, but that's really not stopping people from making sure that they stop by to reflect and remember those lost. Reporting in Washington, I'm National Correspondent Mark Merritt.